Oh, there we are. I'm just gonna wait a minute, see if anyone is out there on my first YouTube live. Anybody? Hello? I know, again, this is sort of a test. I tested my Instagram live yesterday. And it went really well, it was really fun. And I thought I would give it a shot and try. Oh, people are coming, hello. People, um, oh yeah, I, uh, I tried Instagram live yesterday and I just wanted to try YouTube live and you know, if this all goes well, I will do more of a scheduled live video instead of just doing this impromptu, but welcome. Hello, 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 everybody. Hi. <laughs> I love, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, today was a really, really crazy day and I was going to film a little update. I know I just posted an update video this morning and I mentioned in the comments what was going on, but I thought, well, I'm trying out the whole live thing. Why not test it out? and just give you guys a, an update as to what happened today and what my experience was. <laughs> Thank you. Man, sunglasses aren't the best, but oh, it is so sunny. Well, thank you guys for watching. Um, I guess I'll just get started and tell you guys what happened. I assume everyone has heard because it did make I don't know, international news, I believe. But we had a missile, I don't know, I'm just calling it a fiasco, if you ask me. Oh, I, I was frozen? Uh-oh, how do I read the comments? Hi, let's see, hold on, I'm gonna try and my, let me just check out my settings, cause right now, you guys, your comments show and then they disappear. And it's really hard for me to keep up on. <laughs> yes, I am, I'm trying. I'm trying to read the comments, but they disappear really fast. So if I don't read them right away, then I don't see them. So if I'll figure this out eventually, thank you. Yes, keep me on track. What happened? So it was 8 a.m. Um, when this happened and my phone started going off um, I don't know I assume everyone in the United States at least receives amber alerts on their phone from time to time where it is you know it just is going off and it's an emergency alert well that happened today except I looked down and it said there is a missile heading towards Hawaii seek shelter immediately this is not a drill and I saw that at 8 a.m. I was still in bed just chilling just waking up and I looked at it and I there's just this moment of like is this real is this real life I mean it's telling me it's telling me it's real and I kind of get this pit in my stomach and I'm just like uh okay, I guess I need to get out of bed. So I grab a backpack next to me, this backpack. This backpack actually was left by the last girl who lived in my little space. So I guess I inherited this cute little backpack. Anyway, so I grab the backpack, I grab a tub of peanut butter, a roll of toilet paper, my phone charger, a book, and I, I crawl down. The funny, the funniest part of the story is my roommate goes, fucking men, <laughs> because, you know, it's these two boys, little Kimmy and little Donnie, comparing their button sizes and what the fuck have you. And here I am having to deal with it, all of this tension that's been going on right now. And they, oh. Hello. Sorry, this is a dog um, growling at me. So, 
Yeah. She's, you know, packing up her stuff and she tells me about this whole white, white nonsense. Like, apparently, people who wear white are more likely to survive. Something like it doesn't, it deflects the nuclear whatever it is versus say like, you know how black absorbs sunlight? So it's kind of like that, I think. So I put on a white shirt and I found a white comforter and I put it over my head and I'm, wa I'm walking around with this big blanket over me. And there's a photo of it on my Instagram story. Maybe I can post it sometime. Maybe on my q and I'll just throw the picture in of me with my backpack and my water bottle and my comforter because it's very silly looking, but everyone's running around with blankets over their heads. And meanwhile, apparently Honolulu, I hear, was in pure chaos mode. I am in a much more rural setting, so it was just eerie, you know? There's just, there's no one to tell you like, yes, you should be freaking out. Uh, I called my mom, she didn't answer. Texted my parents and my sister in a group text, showed them the screenshot of the notification and called my boss. She told me that the bathroom was gonna be the safest place. And we just kind of chilled. I mean, I just kind of, I, I went up to the loft and I, I posted my video, I made it live. I wasn't going to post it yet, but I thought, thought, well, if I'm about to die, I might as well post a more positive, uplifting video and that can be my last hurrah, I suppose. So it was just like, it was surreal and I was in shock and I didn't know if I was supposed to be panicking. I didn't know if I should be saying my last words to my loved ones, but I, I sent some texts saying like, I love you. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to say. It just didn't feel real. We didn't have sirens. Other areas in Hawaii did have sirens. So I think that would have affected me and my mindset. And um, I don't know, it was crazy. So anyways, I'm checking Twitter, I'm checking the internet, I'm trying to find some sort of communication because we hadn't heard anything. And about 20 minutes after the fact, so around, yeah, it was like around 8.20, maybe 8.25, um, it, was, um, it was a false alarm. So they, and then, and then after we found that out, my phone was finally notified that it was a false alarm. And apparently, according to the news, it was one guy who pushed one wrong button, and I am sure, sure, uh, I am sure, sure. <laughs> Anyways, he better be fired. If he's not fired, I don't know what, like, I don't know what to think of the world. I really wish I could read your guys' comments. Here, let me show. Oh, I can scroll. Oh my God, this is amazing. So I wanna read your guys' comments really quick. Um, am I okay? <clears throat> I'm okay. It was a really, really surreal day today because after, after we got the all clear, I still sat there ex in the same spot with the blanket still over my head for another, you know, 15 minutes maybe. I just didn't even know what to think think or feel it was just so crazy and then and then I went to work so I was at work and um, we had a pretty chill day I mean everyone was shooken up everyone and then I got off work and I finally got to talk to my mom and my sister about it and I don't know it it really yeah it doesn't feel good to be dealing with this and you know I even considered for a moment like, man, I sure picked a stressful and tense time to be moving here, being that we are pretty dang close to Korea. And the situation isn't getting any better. I have to say, I'm, I'm begging our leader to, you know, do the right thing and maybe shut up more often than not because I'm the one that might have to pay the price. Now, 
my boss did have some good logic on the matter. She said, well, and I really, I don't mean to sound insensitive, but consider this a coping mechanism to the situation. She, she says, honestly, Hawaii's population is really small. Why would they hit us? Like, apparently they can hit the mainland now. Why wouldn't they hit the mainland, you know? And it was a comforting idea. I don't know if it's really the truth of the matter. I think, if anything, they'd maybe missile both at the same time and it would just hit us first. I don't know, but it was really scary. Um, it was really weird and I just, I knew people, well, people were kind of, people were commenting on my video today and on my Instagram photo today and I just thought, well, let's try this whole live video thing and see if I can talk to you guys. Oh, oh that feels good. I'm in the shade now. Now I can read the screen a little better. <laughs> yeah, it was a crazy day. I'm still a little shooken up, but you just have to keep going, I guess. Yeah, um, sorry, I'm just reading your comments. Um, right now, the time of day, it's 3.45 maybe? Oh, hello from Nicaragua, cool. How far am I from Korea? I don't know, a few thousand miles probably. Oh, hey dad. <laughs> Sorry about my crazy uncle, Kim Jong. <laughs> I'm glad I'm okay too. Oh, a Knight's Tale. What a good movie. Classic. Heath, my lovely Heath. So, yeah, it was kind of crazy and this whole YouTube live thing is really fun and easy. So maybe we should do this more often. Maybe we can start doing live Q and A's or if I ever need to rant about something. But live is really nice because in instances like this where something really insane just happened to me and I'm still kind of going through the motions of dealing with it and I don't know, everyone's kind of on it's a weird vibe today. Like everyone, we all went through something really, really bizarre, really weird. Something that you should never have to deal with. <laughs> um, so I think having YouTube live is really helpful in this scenario. Can you guys see any sunblock on me? I like put it on really fast and I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but also, one other thing I need to note is I'm not going to be streaming for much longer, even though I'd love to hang, but I don't want my phone to die like it did last time. I streamed for an hour and my phone died. So I thought I would just come out here while I am on my walk. I can show you guys. How do I switch the screen? There we go. So I'm walking down a hill right now. There's the ocean. Um, well, let me read your comment. Oh, so many people are watching. Hello. Doo -doo -doo. Yeah, no shit, Rob. Should put Kim and Donnie in a room and let them beat the shit out of each other. I wonder who would win. I mean, I think I'd know who would win. Well, I don't even want to answer that question. Yeah, and no editing, I know. Live streaming is so easy. Thank you. Thanks, Mom. Hi, Mom. Heath came from Perth? No, stop. I love Heath Ledger. Miss him. Oh. Yes, it is very beautiful. 
So, yeah, um, I think I might end this little live stream here. I just wanted to update everyone that I am okay. And it was a very rattling experience, something I will never forget. And something that I hope does not escalate because ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will totally do more live videos. If you guys have any preferences as far as what I do live and what I don't do live, you just let me know. And I really do need an external battery to do this consistently. So I should probably get on that. Oh, um, a few of you have been asking about a P.O. box. I'm working on that. I might not be able to get one out here, but I have one other idea that might work out. So I'm looking into that very soon. Okay, um, let me just read your comments one last time, see if there's anything to say. Hey, thank you. Ten years since Heath died? Are you joking? Man, that makes me feel old. I remember actually the moment um, I found out I was 16. So yes, 10 years. I was 16 years old working at a tanning salon in Minnesota. I was way too dark, by the way. And I was the bed cleaner there or something. It was a terrible job. Awful. I only worked there like three months. And I found out Heath passed on and I was really sad, but I didn't want to cry in front of my coworker. And then I went home and I watched um, I don't know. I had like a little marathon, but I remember I watched a night's tale. That was one of them. Anyways, <laughs> little, oh geez, I need to not do it that way. Um, okay. So I'm gonna say goodbye. Thank you guys for your support. I will be making that Q and A video pretty soon here. And uh, anything else? Uh, big bird. No, not really. Is that live right now? Yes, I am live. Oh, hey, Alex. See? Proof. It is live. But I'm, I'm leaving. And once, once this ends, I think it'll automatically become available for people to watch. I'm not really sure like the exact technicalities of it all, but I really don't want my phone today because I'm going on an adventure right now. So wish me luck. Thank you for everything. I love you guys. Peace. Uh oh, I should probably know how to, <laughs> how to end this. <laughs> Wait. Uh... <sighs> okay. Bye guys. Peace. <laughs>